Good morning, guys. All right, guys and gals. It is time to move on. It, this will be the third part on the Live to Ride series. <clears throat> I wasn't talking before I started. That's why I got a little thing in my throat. Anyway, so we're going to do the third part of this Live to Ride series. I'm hoping to get, oh, I know I'm going to get all the carving done on this. I'd like to get it all completely finished up on this video. So let's get right into it. So uh, let me show you what we've done so far. That's where we're at so far. All the detailed carving is done. All of my uh, extra fat line around all the detail is done. All I've got left from a carving standpoint is to do the background. So that is what we're going to do. I've got the 90 degree V groove bit in. And you guys have probably seen me use this before. This is... Um, Again, an Amanda 90 degree, Amanda 90 degree V groove. I've got it set at a quarter of an inch, and I think that's going to be where I want that background to be from a depth standpoint. So let me put on my cheaters, turn my lights on. By the way, the Star Bond is still holding, holding steady on my lights. They're solid as a rock. So far, it's, it's working great. All right, so um, turn that around that way so you guys get, get a vision of what I'm doing. All right, so let's get after it. Are we plugged in? We are plugged in. Go. Okay guys, I think the carving is all done. Uh, 
Sorry about that. So now I'm going to take my stiff pressure brush, like always, and try and get all of that loose stuff out of there. And there's a lot of little tiny pieces. So I'm just going to brush it from every conceivable angle. And then I'm going to take all my little high spots, which I, there's one right here. And there's some little tiny high spots that I don't want to come up as white spots when we do the sanding. So I want to go through every conceivable place that there could be a high spot. Inconceivable. Inconceivable, yes. That, mean, that word does mean what I think it means. Anyway. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to keep brushing this thing and then uh, take out all the high spots and when we come back we'll put a chamfer around there, a chamfer around the back side, spray it and sand it. Alright, so the carving is all done. I've brushed it really good. There's still a few little pieces in there, but I'll blow it out really good before we spray it. So now I'm just going to take my 45 degree chamfer bit and I'm going to just chamfer this edge from this point over to this point. Then I'm going to flip it over and chamfer the whole back side. And I've already got it set. So this is just kind of a personal preference. Set it however deep you like the looks. There it is. So on the finished sign, you can see I didn't go quite as deep on this chamfer, but we will lose a little of this when we sand it off because we're going to sand some off of the, the surface. But I wanted a little bit deeper chamfer cut on that, uh, on that ribbon down there. Anyway, so we'll come back, we'll spray it and sand it off. All right, guys, I'm going to use the primer. You know the drill. This is my normal thing. I could use the ink just as well, but the primer works pretty good. A little easier to get, a little cheaper. Again, I want to be really careful not to overspray when I'm using this pine. So I'm going to lightly Hit the front of that thing. Then what I'm going to do after that first little spraying, I'm going to let it set for a few minutes. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to catch all the little spots that I didn't get before. But I'm going to do that off camera. When I come back, we're going to sand.
All right, I think that is it. Let's see what she looks like. Where's my hose? Oh, there it is. Looks like we got two little high spots. There's one there and maybe one there. Not bad though. All right guys, we'll come back and we'll do a finish on it. Okay, so it is ready to finish. I've done the little touch-ups. When you, I, I find that these little Sharpie, um, really, really fine point Sharpies work really well to get into tight spots like some of those down there, but there was only one little tiny one that I did, so I did that. Now, uh, oh, when I was sanding, I didn't talk about this, but I used my 50 grit for my first sand, and then my second sand was the 120. Now, if you know, if you want a, a better sand than that, you can absolutely use your your random orbital and go down to 220 or whatever you want. I find generally find that this is good enough for me. That's what I did on this other one, and I, you know, for me, I always come from the the school of being able to do them fast out there on site that but you know that's not always the case but in this particular case I think uh, a, a 120 sand is pretty good on there but you can go down finer than that if you want so what I'm gonna do on this one on this one here this is pine it's select pine as is this one but this has got my cedar spray stain on it so on I, I want to show the difference between the two so I'm not going to put any stain on this one if you want to see how I apply this cedar stain there it is right there go check out coffee and questions 712 slash 17 7 slash 12 slash 17 and I show how I actually apply this stain um, and that's how this this was done. You can see it's got a, a more of a cedar look than it does pine. But um, just for the contrast, I'm gonna, I'm not going to do the cedar stain on this one. So let's um, let's get the clear. I'm just going to put the clear Krylon clear on it. This can be used. They say it's an exterior finish, uh, but this. Most of these that I do are not exterior. Most of them are all interior. So I'm just gonna hit the back, turn it over. I'm gonna go all the way around the edge. You definitely wanna do this outside if you can, because right now Vicky's choking behind the camera. Oh, why am I doing it? I was gonna stand it up. All right, well. I normally do stand it up so you can see me apply that finish. So there it is. We put a little bit more on there. So I would normally put probably three or four coats on there. But that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. It's a piece of cake. Anyway, so that's the difference between the two. This is the stain, and that is the, the unstained. This has got the spray cedar stain on it, and that's just without the stain. They both look good. I actually kind of like the, the pine with no stain on it because it gives it a little bit even more contrast from the black to the kind of vanilla color. Anyway, guys, that is it. Um, I, was, I was glad that I could get this all done in three videos. So if you have any questions, definitely email me. Um, Eric at makerwoodsign.com. Sorry, got so much going on over here. And uh, if you have any questions for Vicky, Vicky with Gmail. Vicky with Dave Signs. <sighs> wow. Vicky with Dave Signs at gmail.com. Man, we got so many things going on. We're filming and got lots of stuff going on before we get ready for our trip. So, anyway, that is it. I'm on Instagram every day, Make a Wood Sign. We love you all. If you haven't subscribed yet, we would love for you to subscribe a little and click that little bell icon so you get notified when we put videos out three times a week. So we love you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.